The automotive industry today finds itself divided between two distinct, yet equally ambitious philosophies. One continues to refine and perfect the intricacies of mechanical engineering, pushing the boundaries of what traditional powertrains can still achieve. The other embraces a minimalist approach, simplifying the hardware and allowing advanced software to define and constantly evolve the driving experience. Within this evolving landscape, Toyota has taken a bold yet pragmatic step by unveiling a new generation of internal combustion engines that are not just lighter and more compact, but also vastly more efficient and fuel flexible. These engines are designed to integrate seamlessly into the current service ecosystem, preserving the familiar habits of drivers and mechanics alike. While moving toward lower emissions and higher adaptability, in contrast, Tesla has pursued an entirely different course with the development of the Model 2, an electric platform that strips down mechanical complexity and replaces it with a software-centered philosophy. The cornerstone of this strategy is Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor, a precision-engineered marvel designed for exceptional power density, fine control, and mass producibility. This motor is emblematic of Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable mobility a shift that Elon Musk himself often describes as inevitable due to environmental necessity. Yet both paths, Toyota's next-generation engine and Tesla's electric revolution, raise critical questions about what truly makes sense over the next decade of mobility. Is it wiser to continue pushing the limits of combustion technology or to center vehicle development around electric architectures where software dictates progress? Toyota's approach reflects a deep understanding of practical markets that are not yet ready for full electrification. By collaborating with Subaru and Mazda, the company has developed a next-generation internal combustion engine family that confronts both performance and environmental demands head-on. One of its most notable achievements lies in the optimization of engine geometry. Through a substantial reduction in piston stroke, Toyota has achieved a remarkable 10 to 20% decrease in overall engine size, allowing a typical 1.5 to 2.0 liter engine to shrink to roughly 1.2 to 1.6 liters without any loss in power output. This downsizing not only improves packaging but also enhances vehicle aerodynamics. With a lower engine height and frontal area, the drag coefficient can be reduced by up to 0.05, which may yield an additional 3 to 5% improvement in fuel efficiency at highway speeds. Toyota's engineering focus extends beyond size reduction, delving deep into thermal efficiency, a metric that determines how much of the fuel's energy is actually transformed into mechanical power. Most high-performance internal combustion engines today achieve between 35 and 40 percent thermal efficiency, but Toyota's latest iteration aims to raise that bar dramatically to between 45 and 50 percent, especially when paired with hybrid systems. In practical terms, this means that an engine that would typically deliver 260 horsepower from 2 liters of displacement could now either reach 180 to 190 horsepower with the same fuel consumption or maintain the same output while using 10 to 15 percent less fuel. This is not a minor tweak, but a significant leap for combustion technology. Another defining element of Toyota's new design is its ability to run on multiple fuel types, marking a departure from traditional hydrogen strategies that depend on fuel cells. Instead, Toyota's system directly combusts hydrogen within the engine an approach that simplifies engineering while maintaining high output and near-zero carbon emissions. The hydrogen fuel GR Corolla prototype has already demonstrated this concept's viability, producing between 120 and 150 horsepower, comparable to gasoline engines of the same size. Furthermore, the design has been meticulously tailored to meet future emissions regulations, specifically the Euro 7 standards expected around 2027 which demand up to 60% lower nitrogen oxide emissions compared to current norms. Because Toyota's combustion strategy adapts existing engine architectures rather than requiring an entirely new electric platform, compliance costs are significantly reduced, ensuring that consumers can benefit from greener technology without a dramatic price hike. Beyond emissions, Toyota's multi-fuel adaptability gives it a global edge. Depending on availability, the engine can operate on conventional gasoline, synthetic fuels, biodiesel, or hydrogen, making it suitable for regions with varied infrastructure readiness. 
Over its life cycle, this flexibility could lower carbon emissions by 20 to 30 percent compared with current engines, depending on the fuel mix and region. For many consumers, this balance of convenience and innovation offers an appealing middle ground, a way to lower emissions without abandoning existing fueling habits or infrastructure. Meanwhile, Tesla represents a philosophy that breaks entirely from combustion, viewing mechanical complexity not as something to refine but as something to eliminate. The company's philosophy fuses energy, software, and manufacturing into a single ecosystem where improvements in one domain amplify the others. Tesla's electric motors are astonishing in their efficiency and responsiveness, delivering an instantaneous torque curve that redefines how a car feels to drive. The 2024 Model 3 performance, for example, produces around 460 horsepower and rockets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds, demonstrating the mechanical simplicity and raw power of electric propulsion. Where combustion engines require gearboxes and rev bands to achieve optimal power, electric motors dispense with such limitations, providing immediate acceleration and seamless energy delivery. Perhaps the most striking advantage of Tesla's motors lies in their efficiency. While combustion engines convert only up to 40 or 50 percent of fuel energy into motion, Tesla's motors achieve 90 to 95 percent efficiency. This means that nearly all the stored energy in the battery is used to move the car, a difference so dramatic that it constitutes not just an improvement but a paradigm shift. Tesla's Model 3 long-range variant, equipped with an 82-kilowatt-hour battery, can travel over 320 miles on a single charge, and its rapid charging capability allows it to recover 80% of its range in roughly 25 minutes, making electric mobility increasingly convenient for the average driver. However, the most revolutionary step in Tesla's motor technology arrived with the carbon-wrapped rotor, a radical redesign that took electric motor engineering to new extremes. Introduced in the Model S Plaid and later used in the Tesla Semi, this design replaces conventional metal rotor sleeves with carbon fiber, a material offering superior strength-to-weight ratio and resilience under stress. The carbon wrapping allows the rotor to spin at speeds exceeding 20,000 revolutions per minute, nearly 50% faster than typical electric motors, without deformation or loss of stability. This single innovation enhances both power output and durability creating a motor that remains consistent under thermal and mechanical strain. The result is nothing short of spectacular, the Model S Plaid. Powered by three such motors, generates more than a thousand horsepower, catapulting a two-ton sedan from zero to 60 miles per hour in under two seconds. Such figures were once reserved for multi-million dollar hypercars, but Tesla achieved them with a road-legal vehicle designed for mass production. Behind the scenes, this breakthrough required a complete reimagining of manufacturing processes. At Tesla's German facility, formerly Groman Engineering, the company developed specialized equipment capable of winding carbon fiber sleeves with microscopic precision, ensuring consistent compression and perfect alignment under extreme tension. Traditional production methods simply couldn't reach this level of accuracy, forcing Tesla to invent its own technology for rotor fabrication. The engineering challenge wasn't just to make a fast motor, but one that could be built reliably at scale, enduring the immense centrifugal forces and heat generated by high-speed operation. The result is a component that not only boosts performance but also enhances cooling, longevity, and structural integrity. The carbon sleeve keeps the rotor under constant compression, balancing thermal expansion between copper windings and carbon fiber, ensuring consistent performance whether driving through the freezing cold or desert heat. Tesla's ability to take such a complex idea and bring it into mass production underscores its unmatched agility as a manufacturer. What began as a high-end experiment in the Plaid became a scalable solution for multiple product lines, including commercial applications such as the Tesla Semi, where torque, durability, and efficiency are paramount. In heavy-duty trucking, the same trimotor configuration that powers the Plaid demonstrates how electric propulsion can outperform diesel in both power delivery and cost efficiency. Tesla's multi-motor architecture allows fine control over torque distribution, optimizing grip and energy use in real time, something no mechanical differential could achieve with comparable precision.
looking to 